You're watching the 2024 SCAC Men's and Women's Tennis Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the University of Dallas Men's and Women's Tennis Program. The Crusaders will be led as they head into the season under the guidance of head coach Jacob DeLeo, along with the leadership from sophomore Kevin Yee on the men's side and junior Sanskriti Baronwall on the women's side. And coach Kevin Sanskriti, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Coach, we'll get underway with you. It's announced back in July of 2022 that Dallas is revamping and bringing back the men's and women's tennis programs after discontinuing them back in 2005, and you were the leader to do that. I, I'm interested in, in kind of what that process has been like over the last uh, 16 months or so, arriving onto campus, going through your first season. What, what have been some of those biggest challenges, and ultimately how excited are you now to have that first year under your belt and hitting back into year two with these two programs? Yeah, some of the, the biggest challenges I would say would have to be uh, in recruiting right now because a kind of a funny story throughout the entirety of last year, I would reach out to recruits and they would think we're UT Dallas. So that was that was kind of a little funny anecdote to, to go through that. But um, also just kind of going through how, taking a whole bunch of, of players who were students here on campus and ha then also now having the expectations of, of being an athlete and going through the motions with with two hours of practice every day and um, just all that kind of good stuff, getting everybody settled into the rhythm of what it is to be a student athlete. Kevin, you joined this program here heading into to your first year with the men's team. I'm just interested in uh, kind of what drew you to, to being a part of this opportunity and, and how excited are you to, to get back there and, and be a part of this program heading into the season? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I've always wanted to play at the next level, so I work. I work super hard over the summer to get to here, and yeah, you know, I'm just like super excited for the season. Sanskriti, uh, you know, you come into to your second year with the program being a part since year one. Uh, you know, we talked before coming on about uh, having played in high school and then obviously as the program gets started and, and you're there from the beginning. You know, how um, you know elated are you to to continue your tennis? Uh, opportunity there at UD. What are you most excited about coming into to this second season uh, and to get your second year underway there in college tennis? Well, I'm very, very grateful for you to have a tennis team, first off. And um, having one year in the belt, it's really exciting to go to the next one, uh, you know, knowing that we've all improved as a team. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Coaches, you've um, you know, begun to kind of lay the foundation of what you hope uh, these two uh, programs uh, will, will sort of build off of. What are some of the messages uh, that you're trying to, to deliver to these two programs that, um, you know, you hope to really set that foundation? What are some things that, you know, philosophies you're really trying to implement here early on as you get these programs off the ground? Oh, well, my, my philosophies so far have just been to make myself available for the team to get better at, at all times. So uh, I, will, I really want to emphasize the student athlete portion of it, like the students, so that way we're not sacrificing any academics. But um, also at the same time, I want everyone on our team to get better. Uh, as you could probably tell through year over year, we've had a lot of changeover and a lot of turnover. And kind of my philosophy with that is I want volunteers, not hostages. I want uh, guys and girls who want to come and be a part of this program, who want to have as much success in the classroom and on the court as they can, uh, get better in the process and just enjoy these four years of college tennis because I've played it. Uh, I've enjoyed the four years I played and um, I sometimes miss it. But at the same time, I've built such great friendships and uh, through those moments and I want just everyone to come be a part of it and to just enjoy it. Kevin, you talked about the hard work that, that you've put in to get back to this point. Uh, I'm interested just, you know, where are you, when are you most comfortable out there on the court? How would you describe yourself as a player? What is uh, kind of the strategy or the philosophy that you try to take in and when you head into to matches in, in order to try to maybe dictate to some of the play out there? Yeah, I would, I would describe myself as, I, I like being at, at the baseline. Like that's where I'm most comfortable. And when I do get an opportunity to come up, I do like to hit short. Um, and I guess I've also just been working on a big serve because that's I know that's very important to be able to hold your games at college tennis. So uh, with a combination of that, I try to, you know, just go out there and be competitive on court. Thanks, Gertie. One of the things that I you know really appreciate is kind of the 
challenge that you took on coming back to this program, being about there since day one, having been a part of this program and the, this revamping. I, I'm interested, do you have conversations within your teammates about kind of the opportunity that is, how much pride you take in sort of being sort of the pioneers of, of bringing this sport back to, to campus? And, and is that something uh, that I mentioned, I guess, gives you encouragement and, and uh, confidence uh, knowing that you're, you're braving a new uh, path there at UD? Right, because initially, since there was no tennis program, and once we got one, everyone was just, like Coach said, it's kind of hard to balance because they're like, oh, now we're going to actually play sports in college. And it is commitment, and you have to be ready for it. So, yes, we do talk about it in our team a lot. I think we talk about how exciting it is and how we have this amazing opportunity to play tennis in college and have this amazing team bonding as well. So, Coach, you, you know, talk about being available and starting to stack. Um, you know, positive steps in the right direction. As you've transitioned in from from year one to, to year two and you get this season underway, are there anything uh, within these programs that maybe ha have surprised you a little bit that give you confidence with both of these groups heading into to the second season? Oh, absolutely. We're, we're very young on both sides. Like, our, I think of our six guys, we have uh, four freshmen and no seniors. Of our girls, I think we've got, what, two sophomores, one junior, one freshman, mm -hmm. and one other junior. So we got like, because Monica's a junior now? She, she's sophomore. Sophomore. Okay. So, so we got two sophomores, two, sophomores, two juniors, and uh, a freshman. So no seniors on both sides. So I'm looking forward to us developing throughout the year and then returning uh, a year older, a year stronger uh, with an incoming freshman class. So there's been a lot to look forward to as we're, a very young team and we're just trying to build off of this year and then you know be a year better next year so it's it's a process uh i'm very competitive so i know they understand they want to win now i want to win now um and we i feel like we can uh at some points in the season find wins and i'm very confident in that uh but at the same time it's just we're a very young team and it's just understanding that and then coming back a year stronger and a year stronger and a year stronger and just building off of that momentum each year. And wrapping things up with the student athletes with Caven and Sanskriti, coach talks about, you know, not having any seniors. So knowing uh, that you have this opportunity to, as a group, see this thing out through a couple of years and really build together, you know, looking ahead to, to this season as kind of that start to, to this next couple of year process. What are some of the goals, expectations that these groups had as you've had conversations within your teams about some of those, uh, you know, convers you know, or goals? What, what have those conversations looked like? And ultimately, what's going to be key in order to accomplishing those heading into the year? Um, for a mental side, uh, uh, we always want to, you know, every time we walk on court to be competitive, have a chance to win and not just, you know, just roll over because we're working super hard. We know what to work on. We know, we know what we want to do. We want to be able to win dodges. We just got to have the right mentality, stepping on support every time. That when, we, when we do get that opportunity, we're able to take it. I mean, one of the other things we took to talk about is after every single match, we kind of um, tend to analyze, like, oh, where did we go wrong and what can we improve over the next week of practice? And I think that's really beneficial for us. So that's awesome. And finally, Coach, wrapping things up with you, you know, success in our arena obviously can be measured and quantified in so many different ways. When, when you talk about success with your two teams, kind of what, what is that message that you try and deliver? How do you discuss success within your programs? And ultimately, uh, you know, 2024 will look successful for these two teams if what plays out heading into the year. Yeah, so, so far our success, at least for me, I want to see improvement week over week. Uh, now, whenever you have got teams on the schedule, um, that are top 20 in the country like we had uh, last weekend, it's it's very hard to see see that quantitatively on the scoreboard. Uh, but I, you know, I try and tell them like, our, we wanna be playing our best tennis by April uh, going into the conference tournament, wherever we end up uh, in the standings. So that's, that's my main goal is to uh, just make sure it's a day by day process with everybody, you know, trying to get 1% better every day. I know it's kind of cliche, but uh, right now for us, it's it's true. And and that 1% is going to make a huge difference come April. University of Dallas men's and women's tennis programs. Again, the Crusaders head coach, Jacob DeLeo, along with leadership from sophomore Kevin Yee on the men's side and junior Sanskriti Baronwall on the women's side. Coach Sanskriti, Kevin, thanks so much for your time today. and Best of luck as you head throughout the rest of the season. Thank you, sir. Thank you.